What's good guys, it's your Greek Boy 7 and this is my review for Me Before You. So Me Before You is about a girl who really doesn't have anything going on in her life right now. She wants to get into fashion but she's just not sure how to execute it so now she's just trying to find random jobs to build up enough money to help herself and her family. One day, luckily, she finds a job that's pretty well paid to take care of a guy who is almost completely paralyzed. And then you have your movie. So when I saw the trailers for this, I was actually pretty excited. Normally I'm not that huge of a romantic film kind of guy, you know, I'm not like into the whole romance thing, but this movie did get me pretty excited. And I'm very happy to say that it does deliver for the most part. First off, the lead acts, they're just great. They are basically the glue that keeps this movie together. The girl was just amazing. Her performance just felt so genuine. It felt so real. If I just met this girl in real life, like out of nowhere, this is how I'd picture her to act like. I feel like she was just being completely real and completely genuine. And that's a great thing. I loved seeing her. She was just so funny. She was so quirky. She was annoying. She knew she was annoying. And she was just all around awesome. I can't, you can't go wrong with the performance that she gave. It was great. Same thing goes for the guy. He was also really cool. Very charismatic. Very smart. Very snarky. He has a lot of smart ass like kind of comments. When you put two strong performances together and create some good chemistry, you've pretty much got a solid romantic film no matter what. You see, that's the most important thing about romantic films. If the, if the lead acts don't have good chemistry, then it's just not going to work. It's going to be crumbling before you know it. They can have strong performances for their individual characters, but if they don't have great chemistry together, if they don't play off of one another well enough, then the movie's just not going to be successful. There's a big difference between individual performances and chemistry. Luckily, the two acts in Me Before You do both of them very well. As far as issues with the movie, the biggest issue that I had was the relationship between the girl and her initial boyfriend. It just didn't really matter to me. I didn't care about the guy, I didn't care about what he was doing. The film just didn't do enough to make me care about that relationship prior to what was going on with her and the rich, crippled guy. I feel like if the movie spent a little bit less time on that relationship and more on what was going on between these two, then I feel like it could have been a little bit more effective. Not that it wasn't effective already, but I'm just saying it did feel like a little bit of a time waster with the whole relationship that was going on. Because I didn't care about it. The film didn't do enough to make me care about it. And also, there are plenty of moments where things just hit you where you live. Like, I'm telling you, like, there was a pr quite a few times where I was getting a little bit teary-eyed, as you'd expect with movies like this. Now, of course, the movie's not perfect. I mean, there are some inconsistencies that I don't, that I don't even really feel like I should even mention because they're not that really big of a deal. Uh, some things just didn't really make sense for me. I feel like there are better ways to solve the problems that were going on in this movie, like as if the characters or the writers were just making it more complicated than it had to be. Those little things were bothering me, but again, they're not significant enough for me to go over them. The way I see it is this. First off, critics have been pretty spotty on this movie. It's got like a 50% on Rotten Tomatoes right now, which tells me that half the critics that saw it liked it, while the other half didn't. So it's kind of a mixed bag right now. For me, the way I see it is this. When you watch a comedy, what is a comedy supposed to do? To make you laugh. If a comedy makes you laugh, Technically speaking, it's successful at what it's trying to do. In horror movies, if they get you scared or afraid, then it's successful at what it's trying to do. The same thing applies here to romantic films. Generally speaking, romantic films don't get a lot of praise. Critics do tend to bash on them quite a bit, especially the more recent films before this one. But without a doubt, Me Before You hits you in the feels. It gets you in plenty of different scenarios. And essentially, if it does that, it is successful nonetheless. If you feel like you care about the characters enough, if you care about what's going on between them and their relationship, if you're really devoted into that, then the movie is successful. The movie did what it was trying to do. And in Me Before You, that's exactly the case. It isn't anything groundbreaking. It isn't anything we haven't really seen before in terms of romantic films. But Me Before You is a solid entry nonetheless. Speaking of solid, I'm going to say that Me Before You is absolutely solid. Okay guys, that takes care of my review for Me Before You. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you like what you see here and you want to see more, feel free to hit that like and subscribe button. And until next time, this is your Greek Boy 7 and I'll catch you guys in the next video.